all, how's it all going? Hope you're all doing amazingly well. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It would be amazing if you could subscribe, like this video if you enjoy what you see. And without further ado, let's get into today's video and it's all about how to beat the winter blues. I think we can all relate to this so much and especially now more than ever, we've got lockdown. It's in winter, it's cold, it's dark, we haven't got much daylight, therefore it affects our body and our moods so so much. We're all getting back into the day to day life of things and it can feel really tiring. It's kind of starting again, it's kind of starting to think well what am I going to do this year and especially with the situation that we're currently in at the moment. It's so important now just to think how we can get through this and especially January because that's the first core month of the year and that's the year that we just need to start thinking and we need to start thinking about what we want to do for the rest of this year, what we want to do, what we want to gain, how do we want to feel this year. I know for me I want to feel as amazing as I can possibly feel, I want to feel happy, I want to feel very appreciative of things and I've got so many tips and advice so I think we should get into it now and see how we can beat those winter blues. First thing I would suggest is to set goals for the year. Now when you do set goals you need to be specific but you also need to be realistic. There's no point if you want to lose a load of weight and you set yourself a really high target that's just not going to be obtainable in the amount of time that you want it to happen. There's no point, you're going to beat yourself up, you're going to get down really easily and then the goal is just not going to work. So definitely have a think about what you want to achieve this year. Think about what kind of year you want for yourself. Think about all the things that you wanted to do last year, maybe you've not got around to, maybe some new ideas have popped into your head and you're thinking actually maybe I could do that. Maybe it's starting a new YouTube channel, maybe it's doing more cooking, finding a new hobby to do whilst we're in lockdown at the moment. They should be things that you really want. Think about the kind of year you want, write down all the things that you love to do. It's so important I think to write them down because then you've got it there visually, you've got it there right in front of you. You could make it pretty, you can make it into a visual board. Having it just there in front of you just whenever you're feeling low or whenever you feel like you're not able to do the things that you want to do or if you're feeling like that you just can't do it, you can look back at those goals and you think that's the reason why I'm doing it this year, that's the reason that I need to keep going. And it just gives you something to focus on, enable you to think you've got a purpose, you've got a soul feeling of why you're doing what you're doing and it will keep you going and then before you know it January would have passed, February would have passed, you'll be in the middle of the year and you'll look back and you'll be so proud of yourself and you'll think actually that was such a good idea. Definitely set some goals for the year, make them realistic and make them specific. Decluttering and organising. Sometimes people like to do this in the spring, the whole thing of you know, spring clean kind of thing but actually it's really ideal to do this at the start of the year. We've just had Christmas and New Year, maybe you've got some new gifts this year that have replaced some things that actually you don't need anymore. Decluttering is just such a good way to feel freedom and feel like a breath of fresh air. Maybe you've got a house of your own and it can feel a little bit intimidating if you've got a big old house and you think how on earth am I going to declutter this? Take it a room at a time. If you've just got a bedroom, brilliant. Start with your wardrobe, start with some drawers, start with your desk. And I know it's really hard sometimes, I know especially for me, with clothes if I haven't worn them in a year but I look at them and think oh or if I try them on and I think oh but it just it looks still so nice and it's fine for like a couple of things but if you keep doing that all the time you're never going to get rid of it. So start as you mean to go on. Like I said start with a room if you're in a big house, start with something in your bedroom if it's just a small space and just really identify what you feel like you don't need anymore, things that you think you could get rid of or somebody else could benefit from. Think about it like going on holiday so when you go on holiday the day you've only got a certain amount of stuff you can take you've got your suitcases 2021 what do you want to keep for 2021 that's how you've got to think of it that enables you to be specific in the things that you do want to keep and take with you in 2021 and things that you really as much as you love them to bits you've just got to think okay I've got to stop here, take it to a charity, give it to a friend. Once you've done that, you'll feel such a sense of relief and such a sense of freedom. And you'll think, oh, and you'll feel so much better. Trust me, I did this, I think, last weekend. And I felt so, so, so much better. I just felt that I had all the stuff that I needed to take with me in 2021. I had a much better room. I felt like things were just a breath of fresh air in here rather than feeling like, oh, I don't want to look into that drawer because all that's going to pop out is 
is just bits that I just don't want to even look at. And it's a good way to actually think as well. It's a good way to reflect on your goals and when you're going through your drawers and that and you think, oh, actually, this might be a good notebook to write my goals down. Or this might be a good resource to use for when I want to start doing my next hobby kind of thing. That will just enable you to find yourself in 2021 and start afresh. Start small. Don't feel like that you've got to do it all within a day or a few days. You've got six weeks or so now to try and get all your stuff together. So definitely have a look at decluttering and organising yourself. Your room will feel so much better and it's a promising start to beating the blues. So again, what I've just mentioned, what do you need for 2021? Think about the things that you do want for yourself for 2021. What would you want to treat yourself to? Or maybe you really want to save this year and you're thinking about how to budget for yourself. Saving again, if you can, like do it now, purely because you don't know what could happen just around the corner. And when you've got something in your savings and you can take it with you to this year, and then you can take it with you into the year after that and the year after that and you'll keep going and you'll find you'll have all these savings that you've built for yourself and you'll feel so proud and so accomplished and it could be mentally speaking as well i listened to a podcast the other day by chloe brotheridge she's written a couple of books and she's a hypnotherapist she was talking about self-love and one of the things she said one of the steps to do in order to self-love is what would your day look like if you loved yourself what kind of things would you do how would you feel the things that you would incorporate into your day if you loved yourself things that you know would make you happy make you feel really amazing and it could be anything it could be things like exercise it could be learning how to meditate it could be learning how to cook different things I sort of said to myself for this year like once I asked myself this question I'd say my kind of day would look like I'd be doing something that I loved so in this case it's filming YouTube videos I would be taking some time and relaxation and that could be listening to a podcast it could be reading a book it could be watching one of my favorite films or watching a brand new film so that it takes me away from the reality and just puts me into a different mindset in a sense it takes me away from anything that I've been thinking what I've been worrying about and just gives me that sense of you know this is my way of looking after me and I think it's so important to take time for yourself and really think about the things that you want to do this year that will enable you to look after yourself more enable you to understand your needs more so that you know yourself you're doing all that you can to love who you are and look after yourself that is the person we should be looking to the most in order to make sure that we're okay we're making sure that we're doing things that are benefiting ourselves whether it be mentally physically and it's just a great way to really think about what you want for your 2021 what you want to do and again that will really help you with the winter blues because you've got something to focus on and you know that you're always going to pick yourself up when you're feeling low especially at this time making plans this is going to be really difficult because the kind of plans that we do want to make at this time we can't really do we can't go and see friends Friends. we can't go and see family we can't go out to places or book places to eat and that obviously limits our options however there are things that you can do in the meantime you can phone somebody you can arrange a group call with people booking them in so one Friday evening if you're all free just book yourself in for a couple of hours where you're all getting together you're all talking about how you're feeling maybe you've got a drink in hand maybe you've got some food you can watch a film at the same time I know last year I did that with a few people where we just watched the film at exactly the same time but we were both on FaceTime and it was quite nice because you had that sense of somebody was there. It feels a bit weird like if you're somebody that's not used to it but I promise you as soon as you start getting into those routines and start doing that for yourself it does feel really nice and especially at this time we need that sense of a company, we need that sense of somebody there and having them there on even if it's just on a video chat even if it's just on a phone call is really nice take some time out to make some plans for you what things again when you look back at your goals and what you want for 2021 what things are gonna benefit you maybe date night with yourself get some food or make some food if you're somebody that likes cooking or maybe you want to bake some sweet treats maybe do that for yourself pop a movie on snuggle in some comfy clothes a hot cup of tea like that is my ideal kind of friday night for, at the moment you just Feel like that you've done something for yourself but then at the same time you're doing something that's really comforting that's making you feel loved and valued for yourself and then by the time when you are able to go back and meet all those people you're gonna feel amazing you're gonna feel like 
you're the most amazing person purely because you know you've done all this stuff yourself you've really looked after yourself and people around you will see that and they'll warm to that and it will just be an amazing thing starting a new hobby or finding something new to learn it's always good to learn new skills and abilities and especially while we've got a longer time to do that now once we finish work for the day and we have some time in the evenings or on the weekends think about things that you want to start doing for yourself so i really want to get into youtube more this year i really want to think about all the different youtube videos that i want to do for my channel maybe you want to learn a new language maybe you want to get a bit crafty one of my goals also this year is to do more cooking because it's something that i can do but it's something that i don't really do i did it the other day and it felt amazing because you eat the food and you think oh like i made this delicious meal and it was amazing it was tuna stuffed peppers which is not probably everybody's favorite but for me it just felt like a really nutritious meal and it was really good for me because it felt like i was nourishing my body i was looking after it the more i cook the more i'm going to learn all these new skills more things to add to my repertoire of things that i've got all ready to do just have a think about different things that you might not have tried before maybe because you didn't have the time exercise I would recommend it. Just do something that you want to do rather than feel like something that you have to do. You can never go wrong with music and films. Music is my go-to for a lot of stuff. If I need a bit of a confidence boost, I'll put on my confidence playlist and I'll listen to songs with that. If I'm feeling a little low or I feel like I need to have a bit of emotional time, then I've got a slow songs playlist. Music is just a savior. I think for a lot of people it is. It's just really nice to unwind, put your headphones in, maybe close your eyes and just listen or if you're somebody else that's like me as well and as they're dancing it's really nice to put on a good tune dance around your room nobody's watching and if they are watching who cares because you're having the time of your life and that's all that matters films as well so delve back into those films that you've seen before and made you really happy maybe get those out again and have a little watch you can make a whole list and then just tick them off as you go it's just nice to have things like that that take you away from the reality because i know especially for me this week it's been really hard to live with reality it's been really hard to try and adjust to new things things that you think you're okay with and then actually it's been like oh so sometimes it's just nice to have those things to take you away from what's really going on even if it's just for a little bit i've mentioned it again previously but exercise is always a good thing to do if it's just something where you can just go for a walk for 30 minutes every other day or so if you want to start a new training program that you've seen then go for that for yourself if you want to just try something for two or three times a week you can definitely do that you need to do something that's for you try and take it as a different mindset so instead of doing exercise because you want to look like that other person do the exercise because you know it's going to benefit your body do exercise because you know it's going to improve your mood do exercise because you know it's going to give you some me time that sense of okay this is why i'm doing it it's for myself and that's exactly what it is it should be for you and yourself only with what's going on it's so important to keep your body hydrated and moving and energized as much as you possibly can and exercise is a good way to do that you can have a look on youtube the app that i use fit is really really good you can just use it for free there's so many different options now i know a lot of people online are doing live workouts it's just finding what works for you and it's not something that you have to find straight away it could be something that you research for the next month or so and just find for yourself what works for you definitely do exercise think about what kind of things you want to do and that will help improve things so so much for this month self-development is a great way to beat the winter blues recently i've been listening to podcasts whilst going to sleep reading books is always good as well i've read some really good books recently just read a book by vex king which was really positive and really nice i'm gonna have to reread it because there were so many good points in there and i just want to try and remember them there's books by chloe brotheridge that i've read before there's one called the anxiety solution brave new girl and there's another one she's bringing out as well i've just started reading adrian's book she is on the fit app as one of the fit instructors and i was starting to read a sample of her book yesterday and it's read really really well so i definitely think i'm going to invest in that in my next book i think things like that just help you feel a bit more positive about life and more positive about yourself definitely podcasts definitely self-development books youtube videos as well i follow quite a few people on youtube that do videos just for self-development i do videos as well mental health videos i do a lot of on this channel so definitely go 
going to take a look, make this year a focus of you and how you want to make yourself feel better. Those are great ways to build your self-development and feel more confident and content with yourself, making you value just how much of an imperfect person you are and how amazing that is to value for yourself. Eating well, making sure that you're doing things that make your body feel really good. Think of it as a lifestyle choice, so things that you know will do yourself and your body good. Even if it's just like eating one piece of fruit a day, if you don't normally eat fruit or one vegetable just one meal a day that makes you feel really good it will just give you energy it will make you feel a lot better about your body and yourself and just give you the energy you deserve you can as well learn to do baking recipes it's not just about being healthy but things that you've seen previously people make or things online or on tiktok and you think oh actually that looks amazing i'm gonna try that it's all about eating things in moderation and it's all about thinking of your body and what is best for you if you look after your body it will look after you going outside which I know is really difficult when it gets dark very early at the moment. It's just trying to find the time to try and get yourself out, even if it's just for a short walk. It's really important to expose your body to some kind of light. Sometimes when we're just stuck in the dark all the time, you know, our body kind of adjusts to that and thinks, oh, you know, it's time to rest. I don't really want to do much. But then when you've got a little bit of daylight, just give yourself a moment to just walk around your estate for 10 minutes, go for a walk with a family member if you're living with a family member or partner or anybody like that and I know seasonal affective disorder can affect a lot of people if you're not familiar with this disorder it's basically where your mood is affected you feel really low and it mainly happens during the winter there is something you can invest in it's called a loomy body clock it's basically a light that early in the morning if you find it really hard to get up the light sort of starts dimming in and then it will come brighter and brighter it just enables your body to adjust to the light and be able to wake up nicely rather than sort of waking up in the dark and thinking i can't face today they're really good things to invest into i have thought about getting one for myself so i'll put a link down below if that's something that you've ever thought about for yourself last point i want to make is you are not alone everybody is going through this at the moment it is completely normal usually under the circumstances january is a hard month anyway or like the start of winter is a hard month because it's cold it's dark we've just had christmas and new year which obviously we've been building up to for a couple of months and now suddenly that's all gone you've kind of got to think okay what am i going to focus on now so it's natural to feel low it's natural to feel a bit blah about things it can be really daunting to start a new year it can be really hard to think oh like how am i going to get through this year like this month is really hard and it's always a hard month anyway but especially with what's going on in the uk at the moment my goodness it makes it 10 times harder but just remember that there is a light at the end of the tunnel as cliche as that saying is I know but it's very true everyone goes through this everybody is feeling exactly the same they might not express it but everybody is feeling exactly the same as you right now definitely keep talking to people as well that always helps to lift moods because it's nice to know that it's not just you going through this as other people as well the thing is is that you can get through it you can overcome it you can start thinking about your year and thinking all the things that you want to do just be really mindful about what you want for yourself what is going to benefit you in the long run what's going to make you look back on this year and think actually i did this for myself this is amazing i feel amazing right now don't be hard on yourself don't feel like that you've got to get out of this funk do what you feel like what you've got to do take each day at a time you don't know what's going to happen the next day or the day after that and so on enable the first couple of months when it is winter to figure out your groove what you want to do what feels great for you what's going to really benefit you in this time so thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed this video remember to subscribe and comment below making these types of videos is what my channel is all about yes i do a bit of makeup here and there but it's mainly to do with mental health and feeling really good about yourself and really thinking about the nitty gritty things that we don't necessarily talk about and that's what a lot of my channel is all about. So go have a look at some more videos, I hope these tips have helped and without further ado I'll see you in my next video. Take care!